It's a good question. You've just been clicking recently. Um, you know, me and Pierre, I think, have been using our skating pretty well. Um, you know, just getting on their D and then getting pucks back. And, um, you know, we even play with Spez, who's, you know, the brains kind of, and he makes the plays and he's got the experience. So we're always talking and always trying to communicate and be better. And as of late, um, you know, we've been playing pretty well. How have you found playing with a guy who has been around as long as he has been? It's easy. I mean, he, like I said, he, he gives us a lot of advice and uh, we, we just try to talk and make each other better. And even if I see something that he could be doing better too, uh, I mean, I'll tell him because, you know, we all want to win and we want to play as well as we can. So it's, uh, it's a huge honor to play with a guy like him. In general, how would you assess your year? I mean, you've had so many different lineups and played both wings. Is this the most comfortable you've been? Yeah, um, it's, it's nice to play on a line for, uh, you know, more than three games. So, um, but it's just, you know, one of those years. But it's, it's all good. I mean, I'm used to it. Um, you know, I'm used to kind of bouncing around. So it's fine. What does it say about Morgan that he's been dealing with an injury all season, but he hasn't missed a game and he's continued to stay in the top pairing? Yeah, it just says he's a, he's a pretty big warrior. And, um, you know, he's just a really big part of our group. So, um, you know, that's the reason why he hasn't been really skipping any games. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's huge for us. You know, we need a guy like that on our team. And obviously he's a big presence in the locker room too. So, um, you know, hats off to him. I mean, it's it's always important, but especially against uh, a team like that, when you know you have you got uh, a guy like 97 over there, it's, it kind of really uh, um, highlights it. But uh, you know, we just got to execute better and uh, have better structure. And um, you know, they, they got some guys tonight who can who can run. Obviously, not quite at that level, but uh, you know, a, a bit of the same. So we're gonna have to be a, a lot sharper on that. Games against central division opponents. Do you, do you have like some knowledge of playing? Oh the yeah. Jets more and yeah. You share that with your teammates. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, I've I've seen a lot of these guys the last, you know, six seven years. So um, no surprises over there for myself. But um, if guys have any questions on on certain players, but I mean, we played them uh, a couple games ago, so it should be pretty fresh still. It's pretty rare to see an offensive defenseman playing with an offensive defenseman. That's sort of against history if you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. What's been the, you know, sort of the, the genesis of you guys playing together and how, it's, how, how do you think it's gone so far? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, you'll have to ask Mo on the other end of it. <laughs> uh, but um, I think think for us it makes sense the way that we're trying to play as a team and, and possess the puck and, you know, kind of take uh, kind of make teams chase us a little bit, I think, um, putting us together. And um, I think you'll notice we play a lot with uh, Austin's line. Um, you know, we're trying to control the play, and I think that uh, it makes a lot of sense for us, and I think we've been uh, pretty pretty solid since we've been put together. It's clear that the, uh, the onside defenseman with the puck is, is moving up in the offensive zone mm -hmm. to keep it in as much as possible. How do you know when to go and when not to go? Yeah, it's just an instinct thing, I think. You know, we're trying to look after each other, and I think there's probably been a, a couple times where I'll get the puck or he'll get the puck and look up and we're both kind of down by the goal line or something like that. So we have to be a little bit careful, but I think it's a lot of instincts and just, um, you know, like you said, we're going to try to keep the play alive for our forwards and they're going to support us. And we're going to try to, you know, work as a, as a five-man unit on offense and, and create some things. The, the speed on the wings, uh, the Spaz's ability to make a play and score a goal. Uh, also, we've got, uh, you know, Captain, and of course, has been in the league, but uh, Pierre clearly is just trying to find his way here, and you got the experience of, of Spez, who's just talking to those guys a lot, uh, keeping them engaged in the game and sort of directing traffic, and then they're just using their physical tools to, to sort of help the line work. So uh, it's been very good. Obviously, it was a standout for us and, and a rough night for, for the whole team in, in Edmonton, or against Edmonton, I should say, but we've really liked what we've seen from them. I have to tell you about Morgan, that he hasn't been healthy, obviously, but he's still a guy you can put out there and, and leads the team in ice time still. Yeah, just first of all, says just how committed he is to the to the team. That's a big one. Um, it speaks to his character for me, just the leadership. And I talked about it yesterday, just in terms of how he was willing to to uh, accept a, a different role in the power play and all of those types of things. He's a team first guy, and he's out there doing everything he can for us. And uh, we're happy he's feeling a little bit better these days. Uh, he's an important guy for our team, and we've seen improvements with his in, in his game. It's pretty unusual to see two offensive defensemen paired together. What prompted you to make that move and how, how do you like it? Well, it's a combination of um, just trying to find pairs that work and, and mixing things up a little bit from what they had uh, been to that point. Uh, also, uh, we liked uh, the ability to have two offensive people to play uh, 
a lot of times in offensive zone starts and things of that nature with our best players and just having them to match it almost as a five-man unit that could help us offensively. So that's a, that was a lot of the motivation behind it. And, and you know, uh, Mo and Barris have a really good relationship as well, and a big piece of it was trying to get Barry going initially. And we've liked things that we've seen from that group offensively, and we think they've gotten a lot better defensively.